Hey guys, so um, we just got back, well today's Monday, we had our uh, race on Saturday, the Sasanto, Sasanta Annuals um, XP ride. I was a little nervous about doing an XP ride, just because when I when I read and when I talk to um, other people, then, you know, there's it's kind of a mixed bag, and then you read their website, and they're like, you know, this and that and stuff, so it seemed kind of intimidating, but actually, it was it was just awesome. I mean, it was great, you know. I think if, if you know your horse, you know yourself, you take responsibility and stuff, which is, I think that's all that they're asking. Um, you know, and you just want to ride and have fun, then then that's fine. Oh, <laughs> let's see, our camera can't get the top of your head. Here, back up, back up, back up. Um, there, now you can see him better. But, um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, it was awesome. And you know what? These, these people that put up the rides, they put so much work into it. You know, when you really pay attention and watch what happens in the background, it's incredible the amount of work that they do. So it's like so grateful to them um, for putting on these rides and stuff because the rides are just amazing. You know, it, it makes the horses happy, it makes people happy, you know, it's it's just totally awesome. So I have nothing but respect and gratefulness to all the people that make it happen, to all the volunteers and the ride managers and stuff like that. And and all everybody wants is just for everyone to be safe and happy and have a good time and, and all that and they do a wonderful job at it it was also the most well-marked trail that i've ever been on and um i i know aarc is is trying to you know make that more and more uh regular thing so that all the trails are super well marked so that even dummies like me uh won't get lost <laughs> and you know, I didn't even think that that was possible. I invested in my big old Garmin watch, you know, my GPS and everything. And I was like, you know, trying so hard not to get lost. And, and I didn't think it was possible for me to not get lost. But um, yeah, they managed to make it work. So, you know, kudos and awesomeness to them all. Very grateful. Um, we did well. We did 30 miles and we got a plaque. Um, it's my first time really getting a plaque and I don't really get ribbons and plaques and stuff because we, we don't really do formal stuff but um, yeah it was our first uh, first time we got best time uh, we got we came in first uh, 30 miles in one day November 11th and I love that it says that it's presented to La Serre and ridden by by me <laughs> it's like here you go it's presented to you and I was just happened to be on your back at the time so um, so yeah this is this is La Serre's award and then I got two um, two coasters too for uh, the ride so that was really awesome oh La Serre I was trying to back up uh, everything that I test out oh, hey back up back back up Come on, we're too close to the camera. Back, back, back. Uh, um, everything I tested for the ride this time actually worked out really good. I do have to figure out something for the uh, for the boot, his hoof boot con uh, thing. But it, it, he actually went several miles completely barefoot because at one point I, I was just like, I give up on the boots. Um, now the boots don't just listen to me go. Uh, you know the boots didn't didn't you know they kept coming off and stuff don't just listen to that and go oh you know the boots were bad you know or something like that it wasn't the boots fault <laughs> um it and i'm not just saying that just to say it i've tried and i've done a bunch of di different stuff if if you watch uh one part of the video my camera actually pointed down a little bit and you see the entire movement of la Serre, and it looks like like a sea serpent you know, you can see his entire shoulder and back like, boom, boom, and he's surging. Um, when he's doing that, his front leg, I mean, he's like really reaching out and flicking and reaching, this flick and everything. And, and it was especially challenging because at this ride, one of the first things we went through was um, this, this creek bed. And so it was this really, really super slick clay mud and, and it just coated their hooves and then the boots turned and then they they slipped off so um 
you know, I can think of some kind of mod uh, to give more grippiness in case of mud like that. But but that that mud, oh, I got it on my fingers and it was just slippery. Um, uh, another rider uh, told told her friend because she knew about the mud. Told her friend to bring a towel, and <clears throat> that way when the boots come off, you have to use a towel and wipe off all the inside of the boot and then put it back on. Otherwise, you put it back on, it's just going to come right off again. And that that was what was happening with us. Um, so at one point, I was just like, ah, fine, forget about the boots. He wasn't being tender and stuff, and we and we just went ahead and he went several miles without any any hoof protection at all I figured he was gonna be sore and he's not even sore so I think that we are super 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 close to where he won't even need hoof protection at all um, I mean we're gonna to have to you know ease into that of course but that's the direction that we're going or at, at uh, you know what what we'll probably try is for the first I don't know 10 20 miles uh, no, no hoof protection, or maybe s s something else, but not boots, okay? Because um, boots and stuff aren't aren't staying on. Uh, and remember, steel shoes didn't stay on him either. Brand new steel shoes, different farriers and stuff. He would tear the shoes off, and that was that was horrible because if he did that, then huge chunks of hoof was coming off with it. So it's not just boots, you know. I, 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 I just want to stress, we are not normal. In our normal riding, our everyday, and we gallop and stuff like that, we never galloped at the race. Our fastest speed was 20 miles an hour. So we, we never even gallop. But in our normal riding, we, I mean, we go long distances, you know, we run gallops. Those boots stay on. Uh, so it's not the boots. It only happens in the first, you know, uh, so many miles of the race when he is doing his extreme, you know, ba 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 and pouncing and and just being crazy that that nothing stays on um so what was i saying but uh yeah it, it, it's 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 not the boots fault at all and oh the other thing is um my boots are also they've got like over 900 miles on them and the boots get softer like like your own shoes after you know so long they don't really hold their form much anymore they're kind of just floppity which is fine for you know regular riding but for this extreme then it just you know really wasn't working out well um after the extreme part then i put the boots back on him and they stayed on him fine for the entire rest uh, of the race so and, and it wasn't an issue and then when we went back out for the extra 14 miles um they stayed on fine too so so my boots are already i i have to admit they're probably at the end of their life which over 900 miles that's not too bad at all um they're at the end of their life and stuff so you know uh they already they already did a lot they're already awesome um okay so the the boots were good my vest was awesome i love my cantec vest and i will do a separate video on that but um <laughs> once again i always do mods because I'm super nitpicky and I'm really weird and and you know I always want to see what little tweaks I can do to make things better. Um, so I, there are some mods uh, for comfort for the Cantec vest, but otherwise it, it was it was awesome. I I didn't feel restricted. You know, it wasn't really bugging me or anything like that. It was my first time ever riding in it. I I didn't even get a chance to do a test ride before the race, but. It, it was awesome um, so totally love that I try the new thin line um, saddle cover saddle pad it sits on top of the saddle it's supposed to help reduce shock and um, that was okay I'm not sure how nest I mean how much it does to reduce shock but I think it does so I give it one thumbs up not two just one and I wouldn't call it a necessity and stuff, but uh, the reason why I got it was because of my back injury. I figured I'm going to look into every option to reduce shock to my body because he's so big and I'm little. So he's 1,300 pounds. I'm 124 pounds. And especially when he's being bad and he's, you know, all that shock and force, 
it goes through his body and comes up my body and then my body is absorbing well my, my my body is all like handicapped and stuff in my back and all that so I'm just trying to figure out every way to reduce shock possible so the the, the thin line saddle uh, pad cover thing um, is good I think I, you know but I, I it wasn't something where I was like oh you know amazing not like my vest and stuff um, I did do a stirrup mod and because I I, I haven't been happy with stirrups lately um, and also in the crash I, I also smashed up my already bad hip and uh, left ankle and my left ankle was turning really bad because I don't have ligaments in there and, and stuff so um, I did a mod and I'll do a separate video for that and and I really I'm really happy with the mod that I did with my stirrups so I'm really happy about that um, Lacer was I wasn't happy with the way Lacer was especially at the beginning but I got to take into consideration part of that frustration was also um, the hoof boots and and stuff and and then he gets really frustrated when we have to stop in the middle of you know um, just heading out and stuff so you know, I'm hoping that once I get the, his hoof situation settled and we don't have to do stuff like that, then everything will be a lot better. But Sarah, we can't see you. Come on, back up. Don't just turn your head. Come over here. Um, so, so, uh, yeah, I want him to listen to me more. What, uh, he, I don't know. He's become like so confident. Come on, back up. He's become just so confident and and so fit and so strong and and remember this is all kind of new because um <laughs> because before he had a lot of body issues he had a bad hawk bad stifle um you know his legs were bad his hooves were bad and stuff so he he was a beast but not not so much now that we're fixing all that. It's like, on one hand, it's great that we're fixing all this and he's feeling better. On the other hand, now he's like, bah, you know, I am super horse and I'm just gonna go out and be crazy and stuff. So, um, so we gotta address the training again. Say, hey, hey, no, no, no. You know, we're a team and, and you know, you, you gotta still listen to me. I know I'm just like a little flea on your back, but hey, <laughs> listen to me and he did listen in in my my video i know it shows you know a lot of us uh cantering and moving out and stuff like that but you guys don't want to see us walking right that's boring um in actuality look at the stats our our top speed was like 20 miles an hour and our average speed was 6.4 miles an hour um so we did do plenty of walking and stuff like that and stops and, and we took breaks and everything it wasn't all it was i mean the first several miles was all crazy stuff but you know it, it wasn't all like that um i was i'm always worried about pacing him and so and i worry because i know that he doesn't really look at rocks and and the ravine i mean there's a huge drop off and i'm like you're not even looking at it so in the video you'll, you'll see me stop him and go look i said walk and look because his head is so high up all the time he's just looking out in the horizon i mean his focus is like way out there and i want him to go no look here there's a friggin' ravine right here and there's rocks and there's slippery mud and and all that i want you to look here so i'm focused on the here and now and he's like focused on you know way out there and i i'm thinking you know okay we've got 30 miles to run so you know calm down pace yourself and i'm telling him this and he's like no i got this mom so part of it i need to trust him more like for the ravine i'm looking you know down there and he's thinking i'll just jump i'll just jump it <laughs> nobody else jumps it in fact some people get off their horse and walk it to make sure that they're super safe no one jumps it i mean who do who does that no one takes out trees who does that I mean, yeah, yeah, so I can't totally trust him because he thinks it's perfectly fine to take out trees, but maybe I can trust him a little more that he can jump a little gap that drops off into a ravine and he can, 
he, he can't uh in in the in the creek bed i was telling him walk 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 because i was seeing all the horses in front of me i mean their legs were just going all over the place slipping on uh yeah slipping on the rocks and i was so worried about him so i was like walk 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 and you know and then he's just like he he did it fine i mean he was slipping a little bit but he was fine so yeah maybe i need to trust you know him that he he can do that but then he needs to trust me because there was that low tree it wasn't just a branch it was like a whole tree across and did you see how low that thing was i actually had to completely lay on flat on his back with my head off of his side because i was so afraid my helmet or my my vest was going to just still hit the the tree that we went under and i think we were pretty close because i think i felt it brush me and i, and I was as low as we could go um so you know we, we just have to work on our communication a little bit better you know but the good thing is not too much rearing or bucking this time although the people the people there still thought that it, it was a crazy show but i was like oh no not compared to what he's done before sorry i'm trying to keep him in the video too um so so anyways um it was it was awesome it was amazing um loved everybody there i'm starting to get to know more and more people and so um you know and and they're super nice so now i'm not so anxious i i'm just anxious because i i get i'm actually an introvert and and um and i i'm just well i'm not very self-confident and you know this is new to us and stuff and and so you know i i worry about doing the right thing and and being proper and stuff because i know that we're not normal and proper i mean i'm looking at all the other horses there and they just stand quietly they're very obedient and and they're they're good horses you know they've done this they're all experienced and stuff and then here we come along and we're all new and the sarah's all like ah you know and people are looking at us shaking their heads and stuff and i'm like i'm sorry um you know it's like i wish we could be more like that we are trying to be more like that um but this is who we are now and we're, we're but we're, we're trying to get there we'll probably get there one day so um yeah uh, you know i'm not uh, just a reminder i'm not a horse trainer and stuff um Basically, my knowledge of horses was from when I was a kid watching the Black Stallion and going, oh, that's how it should be. Horses should be crazy. And then you just jump on him and just stay on. And, um, and that's kind of how we are, you know. He likes to run and I don't try to really stop him or stuff. I just try to make sure he doesn't kill the both of us. But um, I let him, I try for the most part, let him do his thing and just... You know and then i do my thing sort of thing so and the other thing is um endurance isn't our sport like a lot of people they go okay i want to do endurance so they get a horse for endurance you know um or dressage or what whatever that that's not us i mean basically it's just a girl and her horse and um I'm just trying to do anything that he's gonna like. Um, you know, Jimkana, he didn't really like that because he didn't get it. He's like, why are you running top speed and then you're done? That doesn't make any sense. Um, endurance makes sense to him, but I worry that we don't fit in because in endurance, you're supposed to pace yourself and be, you know, proper and stuff. And he's like, bah, balls out. But on the other hand, even though our pace is kind of quick, and he does run and stuff he look at the video when we came in at the finish he was still fresh so he is pacing himself um our top speed was only 20 miles an hour i mean you know it looks faster and it feels faster because he's doing that surging thing and he's wasting way too much energy doing that and so that's bad um uh, there's definitely a lot of a lot of places that we need to improve if we are to go far in this sport but once again i don't have any lofty goals to go far in any in anything if he told if he tells me tomorrow that he doesn't want to do endurance anymore i'd be like okay fine let's not you know we won't do endurance anymore what do you want to do because 
both of us, it's going to be boring for us just to sit around doing nothing. So we got to do something, you know. But um, I, I think I think endurance is a good fit, especially you know since every everybody is very nice and welcoming to us and. Um, and, and accept that, you know, he's like that. And I think some other horses are like that at the beginning. And then as they do more and more miles and they realize that, you know, this is a long distance thing that they calm down and stuff and, and, and all that. So we'll, we'll get there <laughs> hopefully and, and all that. But um, yeah, it's, you know, it, I don't have any lofty goals. It's just me and Lasser and we're just doing, we're just doing our thing and we're just trying to find whatever, whatever sport will take us in uh, without us having to get all fancy and dress up and have the nice tack and matching this and matching that and and being all proper and and so he doesn't like being proper and I don't like being proper I'm just really laid back so um so yeah that's it but um yeah it was awesome so uh totally recommend it for everybody uh we always have a really great time uh when we do these and we're looking forward to a lot more it's probably our last one for this year so we probably won't start up uh again until uh next year it'll give us a break and let me work on his hooves and and um some other stuff too plus it's getting to be christmas so uh, anyways thanks everybody for watching and i'll talk to you later bye